Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 11 of the best online jobs for college students in 2018 so that you can have something that is flexible, that pays pretty good, that's not going to depend a lot on experience or, you know, having a full degree yet to get these types of jobs and side gigs. Um, and they'll pay pretty well in most cases. So the first one, um, is at rev.com and another site called vitac.com vitac I'm, I'm not sh sure exactly how to say that i think it's vitac but these sites they pay you for captioning so for instance if you want to help with uh the captions for like youtube videos and stuff media videos um, news videos etc then you can do that and get paid for it. it's fairly easy work all you got to do is make sure the timing's good and they match up with the voice um, you don't have to translate into different languages or any of that type of stuff so for instance if you were to go to rev you would go to say rev.com and to find these you would go to about go to freelancers and then they they have transcriptioning captioning subtitles translation work all that stuff you work from home you choose your own schedule you get paid via paypal and they tell you the rates for each one like for captioning it'd be 40 cents to 75 cents per video minute so you're basically getting paid like you know maybe like 25 to you know 50 dollars per hour or so um, depending on your work but captioning you just watch the video you create these time captions so you're putting it into text form and making sure that they line up with um, appearing on the screen as they're being said by the characters in the video so you can apply for that specific type of work by clicking apply now next to that and going through reading through this and going to uh, the process of doing this but um, another one is Vitac, and they are also one of the more well-known captioning companies out there. They do things for like insurance and all that stuff. They do a lot of different um, industries as far as their captioning, as well as translation, subtitling, audio description, all that type of stuff that has to do with, you know, videos and media and stuff. So another one, you just go to vitac.com slash careers. You need to have about 80 about 98 percent accuracy um, and they will typically have all kinds of stuff available because this is what they specialize in and uh, you should be able to do either pull either full or part-time stuff there um, I'll have links in the show notes so you don't have to worry about memorizing all the links right now if you need them later you can check them out in the show notes in the um, on selfmadesuccess.com or just go to the link in the YouTube video description. Another thing you can do is transcription work, which is basically when you turn audio into text. So you might take a podcast, you might take an interview, you might take a video, and you turn it into text form. And then people will typically, you know, publish the transcription on their website in the form of like a blog post instead of actually writing a new blog post. They'll pay somebody to just transcribe a video into text or an audio into text, or you might use it for something else. But, um, you know, these can kind of show exactly what's being said. You can read through the audio of pretty much any file um, for that. So Transcribe Me is one of the main ones. You can go to transcribeme.com and then go to the transcription job section which you would just click join as a transcriptionist and you'll end up on this page you can see they're uh, one of the top rated ones by a lot of um, blogs and stuff and they pay fairly well starting at twenty dollars per audio hour and they uh, have a lot of uh, work that doesn't require experience or any upfront inve investment and it has a lot of freedom and flexibility as far as hours and they do pay you via paypal as well as well so it makes it much easier to track how much you're making and to withdraw into your bank account or spend it as needed so another one like that if you want another um, option is scribby.com you can go to scribby.com and you can also turn audio or videos into text starting at sixty dollars 
or 60 cents per minute sorry and then you can um, go through and make sure that you have good accuracy you need usually like 98 to 99 percent accuracy on these types of sites and as far as you know software if you're worried about well maybe software can do a better job at this why would they have that much work software in my experience as a business owner just does not do a good enough job yet it's just not far along as um, and it doesn't uh, have enough accuracy and speed to keep up with humans doing this type of work so really you know software is still pretty far behind as far as transcriptions and uh, especially because they can't do like punctuation stuff. So if you, if you have good grammar, if you have pretty good typing speed and you're pretty good at making out um, audio, uh, even with accents and stuff like that, then you should do fine with transcription work. Another thing you can do is teach English. So basically there are a couple of websites out there that will let you teach English without having really that much of a background in it. You just need to be able to use the resources they give you. They basically have templates. You go through these video lessons with, uh, you know, like on VIP Kid, you have usually Chinese kids that you work with one on one. You use a Skype style platform that is developed by VIP Kid, and you get paid fourteen to twenty-two dollars per hour to teach English based on. You just read these templates. You work through them, and as long as you're not like you know terrible with people you should be able to do a pretty good job work flexible hours and make pretty good money again 14 to 22 dollars per hour which is well above minimum wage in most states in the u.s so if english is your first language you do not have to speak chinese you do not have to speak other languages you can teach it on vip kid as long as you get accepted and then you can just kind of apply there um, another one is tutorabc.com and it's also called iTutor Group, but basically you're teaching English online. So that just kind of gives you a couple of options. You can click apply. They have an FAQ here. I'll have a link to this specific page where you can see all about you know how you work from home and your flexible schedule and all that stuff and how it works. But um, you know, you you look at you know you take this test and if you do pretty well you should be able to teach English online so these types of sites usually you're like an independent contractor and you uh, you get paid to use like the resources they give you to teach English uh, another site that you might want to check out is for tutoring so um, tutoring for different subjects usually school subjects so as someone who's in college as a student you should have a good uh, memory of a lot of different subjects right now because obviously you are actively using them. You're actively learning in these different subjects. So you can teach younger or older students depending on what um, you are teaching and who is trying to learn. But you can teach you know, military members, you can teach uh, regular students, you might teach people who are trying to further their education to get a promotion at their job, etc. So tutor.com, go to become a tutor and you can work from home, have a pretty flexible schedule and uh, you, know, you just click apply now. You have the application, the exam, mock session, background check, and then you can start tutoring. Another thing is WiseAnt, which is basically another tutoring session where you're doing a Skype style platform, one on one lessons, teaching people a certain subject. You have different types of sciences, math, English, language, um, even test prep and things like that. You can see all the different ones they have below, all the different types of things, like if you're teaching another language, French, Spanish, Japanese, German, Latin, you know, SAT tutors, ACT tutors, help them get better test scores you know all kinds of stuff that you probably are that is still probably fresh in your mind if you are still you know in college so that is wiseant.com that's why that's w y z ant.com again i'll have all this in the show notes for you if you want to find it later um, another thing you can do is uh, become a search engine evaluator which basically means you uh you know 
click around on social media or on Google, Yahoo, Bing. Those are the major search engines. Um, you might do some Facebook. You might do some Twitter, stuff like that. And you basically just make sure that ads are relevant. You look at search results. You see if the search results are relevant. You look at uh, things related to that. You know, you look for any errors, um, you know, bad links, those types of things to make sure that search engines and social media platforms are running um, optimally. So leapforceathome.com is one place you could go to do this. You just make sure and click the correct country and language that you speak and then so for instance United States English language you type that in and they'll tell you what they have an, available like right now they have an internet analyst job available for residents in the United States a lot of these are just kind of side gigs that you can do part-time another thing you can do is go to Lionbridge which is the smartcrowd.com for this specific type of job um, Lionbridge, Lionbridge is kind of the overall brand the smart crowd is for the actual search engine evaluation type stuff, uh, work from home type stuff. So you would go to the smartcrowd.com and I'll have the specific link that gets you directly to this page here. But they have the FAQ, how it works, all that stuff is covered here, and then the job opportunities. So if you need to look at the job opportunities and see if they have any search, search engine evaluation jobs or social media evaluation jobs available right now and uh, you'll see their current opportunities if they have any you know you go based on your country stuff like that and then uh, you should be able to hopefully find something so you have like online maps quality analyst raider english uh, language english language on the other one so you go based on you know you can do this worldwide you can work from home and basically just do a really easy job on the side another thing you can do is write so if you are good at writing you have you're pretty creative you're good at storytelling you're good at tying in things you can get paid to do freelance writing or editing and you can get paid very well there are some sites that pay you 50 bucks per article 100 bucks per article 200 dollars per article etc um, or you can just do like different contract or freelance jobs. Some of them even have part-time and full-time positions where you're constantly writing, whether it's writing for an entertainment site, you're writing sports, you're doing, um, you know, travel, blog, whatever. There's all kinds of different sites out there. I see all kinds of different ones. Um, so whatever you like writing about, you can probably find a job on a site like problogger.com. If you go to problogger.com and click on the job section right here in the menu or just go to problogger.com slash jobs, you should be able to find some sort of writing work and usually you can um, apply directly on the page. So for instance, if I were to just click on this you know, recent job posting here, you, know, you see about the work, uh, how to apply, how do we work, job requirements, all that stuff. You can click apply online here and just fill this out and usually you can uh, hopefully hear back from them fairly soon. So they have all kinds of jobs on pro blogger jobs. Usually a few are being posted every day. And another thing you can check is an article I did called 15 websites that pay you $200 or more to write a blog post or article. This is for guest writing. So if you want to just do an article whenever you have time and get paid at least $200 every time it gets published, then you can do like Photoshop tutorials, um, travel writing articles, uh, Cracked, which is comedic subjects, uh, Treehouse, which does um, you know programming language tutorials and stuff. There's all kinds of different ones that you can check out here if you want to uh, just do like guest writing. Another thing you can do is social media management. So, you know, pretty much everybody who is college aged or, you know, you could be in college and, you know, just worked for a long time and then went back to college. Maybe you're a little bit older, whatever. But pretty much everybody has a social media account of some sort, no matter what age you are these days. So if you're good with social media, you might consider doing social media management on the side you might do some contract work maybe you grow a social media account for some client to a certain amount of followers on Instagram or something or maybe you help 
consult for them. Be like, all right, this is how you grow your channel. This is how you uh, get more likes on your Facebook page. This is how you get more engagement on your Instagram photos, etc. So one place I would check uh, is see what the top social media platforms are in terms of traffic right now. These are the ones you want to get good with first. These are the ones that are going to be in the highest demand. Currently, you can see, um, you know, whether or not you you determine that YouTube is social media or not, you know, is up to you. But YouTube is number two, Facebook number three uh, in the world in traffic. Obviously, Facebook's one of the most popular ones for businesses. Um, you know, another one, you have Instagram, very popular. A lot of people want to know how to do Instagram marketing and stuff at number 12 in the world. And you're going to have others as well. You get Reddit, which is kind of social media, but not really at the same time. But a lot of people will probably uh, like to grow a Reddit presence. And then, of course, you also have things like LinkedIn. You have um, you at number 32, you have others like Twitter and stuff as well. So you can go through and figure out you know which ones are the most popular in terms of traffic and then help them grow those channels and speaking of social media if you want to do that you want to have the best tools you want to automate as much as you can you probably won't have time to ha have a bunch of employees and stuff like that if you're in college and trying to you know finish that up so you might need to get some software to help you so you can get sites like agora plus you can get buffer you can get hootsuite you can get um, Tweepy, you can get Social Oomph, Meet Edgar. There's all types of different social media analytics, social media automation platforms out there that will help you um, get as much done as possible and manage your clients easier on social media. So I would recommend checking this article out on jeffbolas.com and it'll tell you kind of about some tools that will help you uh, automate as much as you can on social media. Next, you can do some PowerPoint presentation designs. Um, I know this sounds very specific, um, but PowerPoint is still a major part of presentations, videos, um, and all kinds of things that are related to business. You see them in TED Talks, you see them in um, meetings, you see them on YouTube. So. Uh, one of the places I recommend you use to create these visuals through pr either PowerPoint or even if you want to create infographics and stuff, visme.co is one that I would recommend. You can use that for those types of uh, those types of activities and you should be able to get paid very well if you're good at designing these things. And another thing you can do is use Google Slides. That's another one where it's free and you can do all kinds of PowerPoints, do custom backgrounds and animations and stuff without having to pay for, say, Microsoft Office or something like that. So if you want to use your art artistic skills more for helping businesses, um, businesses tend to have quite a bit of money to spend that might be a good thing to get into. Another thing you can do is help websites and apps by being someone who tests them. So on the side, you can make a pretty good amount of money. Um, so for instance, if you go to usertesting.com and you click get paid to test, you are going to be able to discover new uh, apps and websites and stuff like that, updates that you know nobody else is going to know about yet because you are going to be one of the people testing and giving your feedback and they use the feedback from you as well as other testers to determine what they need to change and what's working what's not to help them build a better product so you get ten dollars per test each test takes about 20 minutes so that equals about thirty dollars per hour that you would be earning via paypal online to test these different things it has like a video that's 20 minutes long you complete by uh, answering different questions about different aspects of apps websites etc 
and uh, they've had a lot of tests from a lot of major companies as you can see here like Zendesk, Apple, Facebook, Evernote, Microsoft, etc. Et so user testing is one of the top ones. You can go to usertesting.com and another one is called UserZoom. So if you go to userzoom.com, they're kind of another competitor with uh, user testing where you can test all kinds of different things and give your feedback to help them create better products. So that's a nice little side gig that you can do at either user testing or user zoom. Another thing you can do is data entry, which basically if you can type fast and you can, you know, use things like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and do a pretty good job with that, then, you know, those types of things uh, should help you get some work with a few different websites. One of them would be Quick Worker, which specializes in data entry work and you work from home. When you click for Quick Worker, make sure you're on the right country. They have Germany and France on here too. Um, but you click for Quick Worker, you click sign up right here, and then you go through the process of signing up to get work at doing all kinds of data entry and stuff like that. So quickworker.com would be one of them if you just want to basically get paid to type. Another one is dyondatasolutions.net and you can go to dyondatasolutions.net and apply here. Um, if they are currently looking for new workers, which they may not be right now, but you can check back um, you know, every once in a while to see if they need new workers. And last but not least is a site called Amazon Mechanical Turk. And this pays you for data entry, for categorizing images and, you know, social me social, not social media, but search engine evaluation type work, just a bunch of random, easy tasks that you can do online, basically you know you accept what you want to do you make sure you're qual they make sure you're qualified to do each task and then you get paid to do um, kind of odd jobs for people online so amazon mechanical turk obviously owned by amazon you can go to mturk.com to find work there so that's it for this video if you thought this was helpful please like and subscribe so i can create more videos like this for you also if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or share something you'd like me to cover in the future let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. And I will have, as I mentioned, links to these different resources and websites, as well as more information about them on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com if you want to check any of these out. And you can also find a link to that page in the video description on YouTube. Other than that, hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next